All right, all right, all right. Well, welcome to a small little Canadian snowstorm. Let's go for drive. holder holding you up on the dash so you get a front row seat if we get in an accident so we've got probably about an inch down right now yeah it's roughly about an inch so we've got to go to McDonald's, pick up some coffee, and then we're going to head to uh, the farm. See what's going on on the farm. Should be able to finish Kyle's uh, little memorial plaque that I had built. One of the last videos, I don't know when it's gonna, well, it's already out, but I don't know how many will come out before this one. Oh, oh we! It's just enough snow that it's making it slick. That's okay, we'll just take, oh, somebody took out their stop sign last night. That wasn't very nice of them. But again, speed is a factor. Yes, I do have my four wheel drive on, but just because the roads are greasy and it gives me an extra wheel. I'm not in low gear, I'm just four wheel drive on one of these trucks is three wheels spin. And that's about all you want to do on streets. You're good up till about 60 kilometers an hour in the snow in four wheel drive. And I am roughly doing, well there, the lights are going, so I am doing 40, well, slower than that now. So to our right, they're building a new school. To our left, there's a school that's not full. Huh. So $50 million to build a brand new school. And we have five schools in the vicinity that could each use about a million dollars worth of renovations. Plus if we were to put air conditioning in the mall and good HVAC, It'd be five thousand dollars each so they would have saved 25 million dollars if they would have just reshuffled our own schools but the french catholic board um oh there's mr peace man he's coming strumming along might pull me over because of the oh she might no oh, she's going She's uh, what we call not a friendly bear. Nice person. But not the friendliest of bears. Oh. Oh. So, I will pick you back up after I get going to the farm.
it's, it's the time of year and the, the sun is so hot that we are getting melting. See, this is the road that we just went by. That's the road that goes to my place. The direct route, we'll say. And uh, you're gonna notice some cars up here ahead. And uh, through the municipality and the senior center, um, it's called the men's shed. So a whole bunch of men, uh, this gentleman that, that owns this property has every single woodworking tool you'd ever want. And <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm just going to slow right down here because they are elderly. So the place is packed and it's called the men's shed and a bunch of men and a whole bunch of cups of coffee and they they make stuff for everybody like the uh, the new pexi glass uh, things that at the uh, hospital was all made at the men's shed we had them construct us some bird houses for the township <coughs> they can do their own projects and really it's a great place because we have such a high number of um, a high number of seniors, um, there is quite a few seniors that get locked in for the winter and actually for the summer. So they have the men's shed to go to, and it's a it's an amazing, amazing. Um, It's an amazing opportunity for these gentlemen to um, meet with friends and, and whatever else. <clears throat> and we are at Rob's. Do you notice what he has on the side here? Oh no. Ugh. He's got a no parking fire root sign not hard to tell that he's a fireman anyways guys I'm at Rob's and uh, I'm gonna go in and we'll talk to you after hello girls well, I'm gonna keep the girls in or let them out Oh yes, I forgot about that. The girls want to come out and play, but they're not allowed yet. Oh, there's one rooster, there's two rooster, where's three rooster? There, no. Where'd it go? One. Oh, there he is. Back there. Let's go see Marshmallow. Let's go for a walk. Say hi to the girls. Hi girls. Hello 56, hello 57. And we'll come down here a little bit farther. Hi Marshmallow. What are you doing down there? Hey, Marshmallow. Come on, bud. Come on up. Come here, Marshmallow. Come on. Even though you're the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Come on. All right. Well, you stay down there. He's just chilling down there. Get 
Here we go. Oh, no wonder the chickens are going to be in there. She's got more all over the outside. Did you already fill? Oh, no, we got to fill the water yet. No, no, I filled it once. Oh. Well, they've pretty much taken in care of that. You're wasting more than what you're eating, you crazy gooses. water girls to all you folks down in the states where it's all nice and warm we actually put ice in our drinks for our cattle too yeah actually it just turns to ice they they've had so much freezing rain and ice lately that's what they're dealing with but they don't have the heaters that we do girls up there. Can you stand over here? Oh yes, they're gonna come flocking at me here. Okay. Yeah, let them go. Come on girls. Oh boy! Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then they go right across to steal the corn from the girls. They have their own food, but now they're in there eating all the girls' food. You bunch of silly gooses. And <coughs> only a Canadian chicken likes to eat snow. These girls will sit here and eat and eat. They've got plenty of water, plenty of food, but they love to sit here and eat snow. Yeah. Yeah, I better get out of the girl's way because I like to... And there's Mr. Loud Pants that should be in a nice stew somewhere. Oh, he's having himself a piece of ice. Yeah, and now the girls will sit here and eat ice and eat snow. They love it. And now you have some... Oh. There's an egg. You saw that, at Rob? Watch. Yeah, I saw it. So yeah, they've got... They have tons of... But the girls like... To, oh, normally they like to lay right there. I don't know why they're laying right here. There's a good size egg. Uh, do you want to use a flat yeah. or the 12s? Uh, I'll just use the 12s. Use the 12s? Sure. Okay. Let's go pick some eggs. Oh, we got to fight in here, I think. Oh my god. You might as well grab another rub. That's one thing these girls 
have to be the messiest group I've seen. There's probably 12 in the corner alone. Yeah. Oh yeah, you so Rob says the heck with picking uh oh that was that Come here, girls. Uh, the girls are always in the way. Oh, guess uh, you want to ref. Well, this one is too. Do you want to refeed it back to the girls? No, we'll take it back to the uh, coyotes. Oh, okay. Even the coyotes get a snack here, guys. Oh. <coughs> Trip girls. Where did your little picker upper go? Oh, it's here. I'll get, I'll get them in sex, right? Oh, okay. Tell you what? Oh, well, it's a great idea. You just got to kind of. So that's one thing we do here, guys. Is it's it's almost time to. It's. Uh, Thick bedding here and it will all be cleaned out so these girls their home is actually that building straight across there they winter in the barn so that they can actually enjoy themselves and move around so All right, you guys are gonna sit. Well, you guys really can't see anything, eh? Um, all right, saying goodbye. Goodbye. Well, this type of weather too, right? Hi. What you doing? Are you having breakfast? Haha, ha, got you. Haha. Ha. <laughs> uh, hi. <laughs> hi. Fifty-seven is more inquisitive than fifty-six. Oh. Hi guys. Hi. Hi, buddy. that okay girls I won't bother so we're on the way to the Taj Mahal so everybody's saying about uh, like the cold and chickens uh, not laying eggs well this is Canada and we've probably had one of the coldest winters we've had in many years and Rob is still getting two and a half dozen. It doesn't matter if it's summer, winter, fall, he gets two and a half dozen. So I guess they did some work inside the sugar shack. So we'll come up and we'll have a look. But I just wanted to let you know that, you know, as long as they somewhat have some warm bedding, as you saw, that's what Rob uses, his deep bed method. And, uh, oh, honey, we're home. Um, yeah, as you saw, Rob does use deep bed method. And in Canada, you pretty much have to do that so that they have heat. And, oh my goodness, he's even starting it up. Woohoo!
Oh, is there a choke? Yeah. My goodness, that Euro 3000 is so quiet. Look okay, there. look at that beautiful light. The pot lights are in now. And the pot lights are all down the edge. So we'll be able to load, unload. Uh, they're down both edges. Oh, wow. So. Got some pictures starting to go up. Nice radio up there. Yeah, that all came off the farm. And here's our kitchen. I think that should suffice. A little cook stove or a little stove for boiling. That all came off the farm as well for the uh, countertop in the field just directly behind us here. Isn't that beautiful? I think the young lads should get out a hand sander, sander and sand that, but oh, and we got the rocking chair. Got a little gather, gathering spot. This again is the old cock that came off the farm. There's two pieces, this one, and this one over here. So what he's gonna do, he's not gonna sand it, he's just gonna vacuum all the stuff off the side. And bare thin it. Uh, a edge. very thick, uh, like a polymer. And right here is where the boiler's gonna be. That's awesome.